Hello everybody, what is up? My name is Killsteam. I am back with another awesome video for you today. And in today's video, we'll be going over how to get the Fire Bow. And the Fire Bow had a lot of glitches before, but now I think it is all patched and it is ready to go. So I decided to do a tutorial, tutorial on how to do the Fire Bow. So once you once you got to do first, guys, is you have to get the regular bow. You have to get the Wraith Wrath of the Ancients. And I have the tutorial down in the description below, or check out my previous videos. And once you have the regular bow, you have to head up to the clock tower to pick up the fire bow quest. Now shoot this little symbol on the wall, and the wall will break apart, and it will form the upgrade quest of the fire bow. And once it says to pick it up, you can pick it up, and then you have to go to the rocket test fire site to do something very different. So once you are at the rocket test fire site, guys, you have to wait until there is a rocket test, and it will count down the rocket, and you have to go inside the doors, and you have to stand by these doors and wait till the rocket test is over and now once the rocket test is over you have to run out as fast as you can and shoot this glowing red sir a little gl glowing red stone and you have to shoot a little bit above the glowing red dot and then you have to get a perfect perfect shot of this and the way you know you have done it correctly as you see a big ball of fire will appear and it will go to the middle of the map so I would sh hold your bow in all the way and shoot above the little circle a little bit above the little circle and you will get it perfectly if you have any trouble with this please tell me so the next thing you have to do guys is go to these little jumping pads and as you see you'll see the fading ritual circles and then you have to jump to that jump pad to this one right here now you have to follow the same jumping pads I am taking guys because it's the easiest way And as you see you have to hold your bow in shoot it and then the way you know you've done this correctly is when the circle is lit on fire and you have to stand in the middle of the circle and you have to kill 10 zombie souls around it. Now it's okay if you go out of the circle, you can go right back in and then a glowing red line will appear and it will go to the big ball of fire in the middle of the map that you shot with the stone. So as you see, you're filling up zombie souls. Now there are three, two other little ritual circles that you have to get around the map and the one is the next one will be kind of hard and the third one will be really hard but trust me guys these are extremely difficult and you will take a lot of time and money to get these so you have to take this jumping pad to shoot the one right by the death ray as you see i jumped i shot that i got it right on hit and i went to see if i got it now if i didn't get it there would be no fire around the circle but i did get it so there is a line of fire around the circle so what you got to do, guys, is you have to shoot the zombies when they're coming in again. Once again, do the same exact thing for this one and the last one, and then the line of fire will appear. And then that's when you know you have to do the very last one, which is probably the hardest one. So, guys, and the last one is over here. You have to jump in the jumping pad to go to the rocket test um, site. And as you see, on the little walkway, you walk up to the gate to the first dragon. You will see the fading glowing circle. Now, you can take the rocket test fire thing, too, to try and shoot it. As you see, it is right there. I missed terribly. But trust me, guys, when you think that you missed, you might have actually hit it. So, every time I went back and forth in these rocket test things, I went to check if I got the circle. So, this time, I checked I got the circle. And I thought I missed this shot terribly, but I guess I got the circle. So do the same exact thing again for here. Once again, shoot zombie souls while standing in it. And once you're done with that, you can do the next step. So for the next step, guys, you have to go in the clock tower once again and hold box on these little clock corks and stuff. And they will start moving around. And on top, you will see a glowing symbol. Now, I prefer to take a picture with this with your phone and then save this for later. And there are three different fireplaces around the map, guys. One in Edward's room, one in the first dragon by the um, spawn area, kind of. And... There are three different fireplaces. This is one of them. And you have to look for the symbol that you got on the clock corks. You have to look for it in each of these fireplaces. And as you see, my symbol wasn't in the, that one back there. I'm going to see if it's in this fireplace right here. As you see, there is no symbol in there. So there is a last place to get the little symbol, which is in the laboratory slash church. As you see, I looked in this one, and I did see my symbol. And I was very happy. So that has to be the same exact symbol matching the one from the clock tower that you spun. So... After that, guys, you have to find one of the three glowing circles. Now, these circles will all be dim. You guys would think they would all be faded color and they will all be done. But one of the circles will be on a fiery color. So, 
You have to find a circle that is having a little fire color, and you have to shoot zombies right by the circle, and then once you kill one of the zombies, the circle would fade again, have a faded red color, and there will be a volcano rock that appears. Now, you have three shots to get this volcano rock into the fire, so it's like you're shooting it with your bow. As you see, I have to get it into the church fireplace. I shot it over there. It landed right in front of the door of the church, so I'm going to go to the church and I shot it right by the fireplace over there. Now, you have three shots, guys. It is kind of hard to do this. And every time you fail, the rock would dissipate. And you would have to do it next round when the fire, when the virtual circle is glowing color again. So, once you got this right and you got the volcano in the fireplace, hold box on the fireplace. And then, once you have done that, you will see a bow appear. And the bow will disappear. And then, guys, that leads us to our last step. So, guys, now we are at our last step. What you would have to do is come back to the death ray machine and as you see the ball of fire will be very close to the ground and you have to hold box on the ball of fire once you hold box it will like pieces will start coming onto the ball of fire and it will explode a big explosion in the air it's a pretty cool fire show and i like it a lot and then as you see the reforged arrow will drop and you will be able to pick up the bow now guys you have to do the last step which is going down into the pyramid room and putting your bow in it and filling it up with zombie souls and then putting your bow in it once again and then you will get the fire bow as you've done it so that's when you know you have completed the quest i'm gonna put my bow in here now once you have a misty color around your little arrow you put your bow in it and once you have your bow in it guys the fire bow will come out and you will have completed the quest upgrade quest of the fire bow and this bow is really fun to use guys and it's not that difficult anymore guys hopefully my tutorial helped any questions comment down below hit that like button subscribe for more black ops 3 gameplay I'll be seeing you in the next video, everybody. Peace out, everyone. Now, here's the news of the tour of the black market and black out.